Now it is stinking hot under this light. You have no idea. <laughs> Greetings Earthlings, welcome back. Um, all right, three big, three big things this week. First off, they released a new trailer for Avengers Age of Ultron. I will review it by basically doing an impersonation of what I was like watching the trailer. Cool. <laughs> cool. 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 Oh, is that? Ah, oh, cool. Who's that? Ah, oh, no way. Yay. <laughs> cool. 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 I'm watching that again. And that was pretty much it. Uh, second up this week was, well, a rumor came out that D... C and, um, what are they called? Warner Brothers. We're thinking about cutting um, Superman v Batman. That's the way the title should go. They were thinking about cutting that in the two films. First part um, was called Enter the Night, which was going to come out later this year, end of 2015. And the second part was going to come out uh, next year at the forwarded date. That is not what's happening. Henry Cavill actually came out and said, no, it's one film. Now I read a lot of stuff about this on the net but there was one thing that really ticked me off. It was from the DC Cinematic Universe Facebook page and I'm going to I'm going to read out what they wrote. They were saying that um, they don't understand how Batman v Superman can only be one film. It took four to six months to shoot. Now most big budget films these days take four to six months. Actually uh, a movie of this scale being shot in only four to six months is actually doing pretty good. There has been so many rumors about so many characters and things happening in just one movie. Well, so what? It won't be released until more than a year from now, even though it's been done filming for almost a month. Now that's crap. Yes, they finish principal photography, but that is just the live action stuff. Now this is an effects heavy film. One of the characters rumored to be in this film is Doomsday. And Doomsday is obviously going to be fully CG. So getting that character into the film, um, interacting with the other characters, there's obviously going to be a big fight scene. That is going to be a massive CG piece of work. And they're already moving on to other plans for their other DC films. Well, no shit. Okay, they've got a lot of catching up to do. They've got a big slate announced in a very short amount of time. It's not like one person is making every single film, even though it feels like Zack Snyder's making everything. So, of course, they're going to move on to other films, okay? If, what, they, you think they just, like, make one film and then start concentrating on another? No, they, like, they break them all up. It's, this just happens to be all a bunch of connected films. With all of this and a huge time gap from now until the movie is released, it doesn't make sense why the film is being released so late. What they're going to do with all of that footage, how in the world it could take that long to edit one film, and how they are going to release Justice League in time if it truly is taking them this long to finish BVS. And this is the part where I start getting shitty. A normal film, normal film, doesn't take that long to edit. A normal film shouldn't take that long to be released when it's already done shooting more than a year before it comes out. Alright, whoever wrote this post is a moron. Movies, especially massive effect driven films, take a long damn time to make. Like, this is unprecedented in movie history, okay? Simply because it's Superman and Batman, and after 75 years, they're finally both going to be in a film interacting with each other. I don't want them to fuck it up. I am happy for them to take however much time they need to get the film right before I see it. Moving on. Okay. Third thing this week, yeah, third, the Academy Award nominations were out. You know, I, I kind of realized that to the normal on the street person, such as you and me, the Academy Awards really doesn't mean very much, okay? It's just a chance for an overly long ceremony, uh, a bunch of guys to get a, together and be awarded for their hard work and a bunch of women to be treated like inane clothes horses. But from a geeky point of view, um, a lot of the films that I like and that I'm interested never get a mention. That's fair, unless they're in obscure categories like best sound or um, best visual effects or best score, or even best score they miss out on. But in the running this year for, for best picture, first of all, is the Michael Keaton film Birdman. Um, I haven't seen Birdman yet. I really want to see it um, because it looks great. 
uh, and I'm hearing so much good stuff coming out about it that I'm dying to see the film. But, you know, more on that later. The only other real mentions are that Big Hero 6 is nominated for Best Animated Feature. There was a little bit of a snub there with the Lego movie. Um, I think the Lego movie was a monumental animation achievement. You might not think so, but watch that film again. They modeled the Lego bits and then used that to create the world. It's not like they just textured everything to make it look like Lego. It was built digital brick by digital brick. Okay, which I think was a pretty amazing achievement. Anyway, and the other stuff was, I think in the best visual effects category uh, with Captain America, uh, the Winter Soldier, X-Men Days of Future Past. Uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I loved Captain America, as you saw last episode. Days of Future Past was also really, really good, and I hate the X-Men. I uh, haven't had a chance to see Dawn of the Planet of the Apes yet, but, you know, um, once again, that's still on my to-watch list. Uh, we'll wait and see how this all turns out. I really... I've gotten to the point I really don't give a crap about the Academy Awards. And the award goes to, and there's a musical number, and, you know, the music meister does a number, and they make fun of the, the actors in the front row, and... That takes five hours. 